Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. In March, the Queen Anne's County District Court issued a bench warrant for Patricia Ann Alton after she violated her probation on a theft conviction. Alton is a white female, she's 27 years old, she's 5 foot 4 inches tall and weighs 250 pounds. As you can see, she has brown hair and brown eyes. Alton has several possible addresses, Bruceville Road in Trapp, Harris Range Road in Cordova, and Elm Street in Cambridge. Alton graduated from the Easton High School and has lived in the area all her life, so we don't think she's going to be far. Her employment history has her as a server at McDonald's in Easton and as a stay-at-home mom. According to the Maryland Judiciary case search, she also has active charges for theft and theft scheme in Talbot County. If you have any information on Ms. Alton, you're urged to contact Talbot authorities or my office as soon as possible. I happen to be with Deputy Armington, who actually stopped a rental vehicle, which was a Hyundai Tucson, for speeding on the Sutlersville Road area of Queen Anne's County. The driver was not listed as an authorized driver, and the passenger, Kiana Marie Yant, was suspended. Most people do not realize that if you're not on the rental agreement, you're not authorized to drive that vehicle, and actually you can be arrested for that violation. So basically, Deputy Armington stopped the vehicle, which was rented, and you searched the vehicle and I did, sir. Kiana Marie Yant is a 31 years of age African American female, and she's listed as 5 foot 6 inches tall, 155 pounds. Her last known address was Corning Avenue in Fort Washington, Maryland. Search of the vehicle, I located uh, some marijuana inside, subsequently deemed to be uh, constructive possession for both occupants, and they were both charged with possession of marijuana. Uh, based on Kiana Yant's past history uh, with her criminal activity, district court issued an arrest warrant for her. Uh, which we've attempted to serve and have not been able to. If you have any information on Keanu Marie Yant, please contact our office and provide that information to us so we can apprehend her for the outstanding arrest warrant. In October and November of 2012, numerous businesses received checks which were later determined to be worthless, resulting in an issuance of an arrest warrant for Denny Patrick Owens. Owens has been charged with 57 counts of bad check, theft, and forgery. Now, Owens is a local. His last known address was Winchester Creek Road near Queenstown. In the past, he's lived in Ridgely. Owens is a white male. He's 46 years old with gray hair and brown eyes. He's five foot six inches tall and weighs 193 pounds. He's likely to be driving a white Chevy four-door pickup with possible Maryland tag 8 Adam Henry 2105. If you have any information on Mr. Owens, you're urged to contact local authorities. In 2010, the circuit court issued a violation of probation warrant for Christopher Lee Murphy of Graysonville. The original charge stemmed from a DWI arrest. Murphy is a white male. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighs about 140 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. He has a scar on his left leg and tattoos on his right arm, his right shoulder, and his chest. Records show he's used an alias of Christopher Lee Ireland. He has family here in Queen Anne's County, but is believed to have left the state. If you have any information or anything that you can provide us with on Christopher Lee Murphy, you're urged to contact our office. I want to take this time as always to thank all of our viewers on QAC TV, those who follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. But special thanks to the crew here at Queen Anne's County TV7. Without your partnership and the help of the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, we couldn't be helping Queen Anne's County become a safer place. But the most important thank you is to you, the viewer. You, the viewer, make our show very successful. And you, the viewer, keep Queen Anne's County the safest county in Maryland. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.